during analysis of the Queen's speech and other royal family events over Christmas, including the Duchess of Cambridge's piano performance, Sophie Ellsworth, a media writer for the newspaper The Australian, told how Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were noticeably absent from Her Majesty's Christmas Day speech. Ms. Ellsworth showered the Duchess of Cambridge in praise, lauding her for her complete style and class with her piano performance and in events in the run-up to Christmas. But things appeared to take a turn for the worst as the Aussie unloaded a barrage of heavy criticism at the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Asked whether Prince Harry and Meghan would be welcome around the Christmas table by Her Majesty, Ms. Ellsworth claimed the California-based pair would absolutely not be. But she went further in her analysis, noting, the Queen in her speech didn't mention Meghan or Harry. The Australian writer went on to allude to Meghan's court victory against the Mail on Sunday for publishing letters between her and her father, Thomas Markle. She said, now she has had this court case that she has won against the newspaper. She has won this court case, this might be a win for Meghan. Off the back of the case, the Aussie went on to accuse Meghan, saying she is at war with everyone. Ms. Ellsworth suggested, this woman falls out with everyone. She falls out with her best friends, her own father, her stepsister, her in-laws. I mean the list goes on and on. In a nasty jab at the Duchess of Sussex, Ms. Ellsworth added how she just wishes there was a day where I don't have to hear about Meghan Markle. But she claimed, unfortunately, her and Harry are obsessed with being in the media, despite wanting privacy. And we are going to hear a lot more from them in the new year. Another news, from trains to roses to a substantial chunk of Antarctica, the Queen is the namesake of places and things all across the world. And while it's not hard to come across things named after Her Majesty, there is one thing that she refused to share her name with, the Loch Ness Monster. After a series of alleged sightings and photographic evidence of the fabled creature fueled speculation over the existence of the Scottish Highlands legend, the Queen was reportedly very interested in the myth back in the 1960s. As a result, renowned scientist and founder of the WWF, Sir Peter Scott sent Buckingham Palace a proposal that was sure to delight the young monarch. Writing to the 95-year-old, the co-founder of the Loch Ness Phenomena Investigation Bureau asked if Her Majesty would like the beloved beast to be renamed after her. If it was ever found, the long-necked creature would no longer be Nessie but Elizabeth Nessie instead. Sadly, his plan didn't go as intended. Replying to the letter, Martin Charteris, the Queen's then private secretary, explained that there would have to be absolutely irrefutable evidence that the Loch Ness Monster was real before it could be renamed after the 95-year-old. It would be most regrettable to connect Her Majesty in any way with something which ultimately turned out to be a hoax. Even if the animal does prove to exist I am not at all sure that it will be generally very appropriate to name it after Her Majesty since it has for so many years been known as the monster, he said. The private secretary went on to tell Sir Peter that it would be a great day in the zoological world if it can be proved that a hitherto unknown animal exists. In the documents obtained from Sir Peter's archive at Cambridge University, the scientist was also asked by the Queen to send her updates of his investigation, indicating that she remained interested in tracking the case. Her Majesty has seen your letter and was very interested in its contents, and I hope that you will keep us in touch with the progress of your investigations, the letter read. Despite the intrigue, when asked if the Queen was still interested in the legend, a spokesperson for Buckingham Palace said, Her Majesty has seen many things in her life but there are currently no plans for an audience with the Loch Ness Monster.